Now, when it comes to buying a laptop, especially when you're under a tight budget like $500, it can get really confusing. With so many brands and so many different options, it's really difficult to choose the right one. But don't worry, in this video, I'm going to be helping you guys out with just that. Today, I'll take you guys over the best laptops under $500 for school students, for office work, and everyday general productivity. I'll share a bunch of my personal recommendations, and towards the end of the video, I'll give you guys one best overall option under $500. But with that being said, all the laptops that I talk about in this video will be in the description down below to Amazon US and those are affiliate links so if you want to help the channel out and in turn help me make more videos please go ahead and buy from those links I really appreciate it but with that being said let's get started now starting off with the most affordable option on this list we have the Acer Aspire 5 Slim A515 at $300 this laptop comes with a 15.6 inch full HD IPS display with an Intel Core i3 1115G4 processor 8 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM and 128 gigabyte NVMe SSD it's got Wi-Fi 6 Bluetooth 5.1 and runs the latest version of Windows which is Windows Windows 11. In terms of ports, we've got an Ethernet jack, a HDMI 2.0 port, two USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type A ports, one USB Type C port, a USB 2.0, and a headphone jack. Now, $300, in my opinion, is the bare minimum for a decent laptop in 2023. You have to at least spend $300 to get a good laptop. And the Acer Aspire 15, in my opinion, is a good option. You're getting an Intel Core i3 processor with 8GB of RAM and a decent 15.6-inch Full HD IPS display, which can get a bunch of the daily tasks done very easily. So web browsing, email, watching YouTube videos, using the Microsoft Office products like Word, PowerPoint, or Excel. If you're a student or a working professional that needs a you know laptop that is really affordable and you cannot spend over $300, this is going to be a good deal for you. Now, next up on our list is the ASUS VivoBook 14 Slim. This retails for $319, comes with a 14-inch Full HD IPS display, the Intel Core i3-1215U, this is the 12th generation Intel processor with Intel UHD graphics, 4GB of DDR4 RAM, 128GB SSD, a fingerprint reader, Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.0, and Windows 11 Home for the operating system. In terms of ports, again, you've got two USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-A ports, one USB Type-C, HDMI, 3.5mm jack, and a USB 2.0 port. Now for $319, the ASUS VBOOK 14 Slim, again, is a really good option for students as well as work. It's smaller, more compact, so it's easy to carry around and it's more portable compared to the traditional laptops. And the only thing I'd recommend is add an extra stick of RAM to this laptop because out of the box, it only comes with four gigabytes of RAM. It's only gonna cost you like $15 to you know upgrade the RAM on this thing. I'll link a four gigabyte or eight gigabyte stick from Crucial in the description down below, so check it out. And overall, you're gonna get way better performance compared to the previous laptop. You can again do daily tasks very easily like web browsing, email, watching videos on YouTube, doing a bunch of the online work for students as well as working professionals. You can use the Microsoft products very easily here and do a little bit of video editing and photo editing as well if you are into that kind of a thing. But overall, this is again a really good deal for $319. You're getting really good value for your money here. Now moving on to the next laptop on our list, which is the Lenovo IdeaPad 1i. This is slightly on the expensive side for $429. You're going to get a 14-inch Full HD display, again with the i3-1215U processor. This is a 6-core processor with 2 performance cores and 4 efficiency cores. You're going to get 12GB of RAM, a 512GB PCI NVMe SSD, again Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.0, fingerprint reader, a webcam, backlit keyboard. All the basic features are here, 2 USB ports, 1 USB Type-C, another HDMI port, 3. 5mm jack and also a SD card reader for the photographers and video editors out there. Now the Lenovo IdeaPad 1i again gets you more storage, more RAM, a SD card reader for $429 this is again a really good deal. You're gonna have similar performance to the Asus VivoBook 14 Slim. This is also very portable and easy to carry around for students as well as working professionals. And if you have a little bit of extra money to spend, you can get the Lenovo IdeaPad 1i as well. Now moving on to something more powerful, we have got the ASUS VivoBook 14 2023 edition. For $479, you're going to get a 14-inch Full HD IPS display with the Intel Core i5-1235U processor. This has got 10 cores, so 2 performance cores and 8 efficiency cores. Intel Iris XC graphics, 8GB of RAM, 256GB of PCI NVMe SSD, and Windows 11 in terms of the operating system. And in terms of ports, you've got a bunch of USB Type-A ports, as well as a USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-C port, HDMI 1.4, a headphone jack, Bluetooth 5 webcam backlit keyboard as well as Wi-Fi 5 and you've also got a fingerprint reader on this laptop now this laptop gets really close to our $500 budget retailing at $479 but it also brings you way more performance compared to the previous laptops so now you're getting an Intel i5 12 gen CPU with Iris XC graphics and 8 gigabytes of RAM you're getting more storage here as well as you're just going to be able to do more demanding tasks like video editing and photo editing 
as well as all the basic tasks that I've mentioned in the previous laptops. And if you just wanted more performance, if you're you know, starting out a YouTube channel or something like that, if you want to edit photos or learn some skill that requires more performance, this laptop is gonna be a really good option for you at $479. Now the last laptop on our list is the Asus VivoBook 16. It's got a 16 inch display with a 16 by 10 aspect ratio and a resolution of 1920 into 1200. It's an IPS panel and you've got a Ryzen 5 7530U CPU with six cores and 12 threads. This is the latest 7000 series CPU. You've got eight gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, a 512 gigabyte SSD. You've got Radeon graphics on board, Windows 11, a fingerprint reader, Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5 for $560. I'll get to the price in a bit. And in terms of ports, you've got two USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type-A ports, a Type-C 3.2 Gen 1, as well as HDMI, USB 2.0 and a headphone jack. Now this laptop is actually over our $500 budget, but the only reason I'm recommending it is because it's got you know, good performance as well as a bigger display. So if you're looking for a 16 inch laptop around that $500 budget, the ASUS VivoBook 16 is a good option in my opinion. It comes with the latest 7000 series AMD Ryzen CPUs, which have got good onboard graphics as well. It's gonna give you a good 16 inch display, an IPS panel. You've got a you know, decent selection of ports. Again, you should be able to do basic things like video editing, photo editing, all the online stuff, so watching videos, checking email, web browsing, and you should also be able to play some light games on here, so Valorant, CSGO, Dota 2. If you're into some casual gaming as well, the ASUS VivoBook 16 is it gonna be able to support that. And for $560, again, this is a really good deal as well. So those are my suggestions for laptops under $500, which are gonna be great for students, working professionals, and everyday general productivity. If you were to ask me my best overall pick out of the laptops that I suggested today, I think you should go with the ASUS VivoBook 14 Slim 2023 edition which retails for $479. It gives you an Intel Core i5 12 gen CPU with Iris Xe graphics and comes with a good 14 inch IPS display. Overall, it's a good mix of price to performance. And if you're looking for the best value for money under $500, I think that's the laptop you should go for. And again, guys, all the laptops that I mentioned in this video will be linked down below to Amazon US and those are affiliate links. So please do buy from those links to help the channel out and in turn help me make more videos. But that being said, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, go ahead and smash the like button. If you found this video helpful, let me know in the comments down below. If you have any questions or queries or if you have any other suggestions for laptops under $500 that I might have missed, again, go ahead and let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you guys don't miss out on future uploads. But with that being said, my name has been Yusuf. You guys have been awesome. Stay awesome. Keep smiling and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.